Knowing that all these voracious, insidious, viral ideologies are out there and are out for blood, what can be done to stop them? The first step is knowing what's going on, and you've just done that. The second step is simply resisting. Marxism in its various forms has been rampaging through America since the mid to late 19th century, and has only met real opposition in the last five years. Think about that. More than 120 years to grow a monster and it's already crumbling. Where George Orwell was wrong in 1984 was that he assumed the state would live on in evil forever. It won't. It will always be ended or end itself. Hopefully it can be ended in America before it really begins. Here are some things to do and to support. Do not use their terms against them. Terms like diversity, equity, and inclusion are co-opted and corrupted as are critical theory, racism, justice, dignity, belonging, power, whiteness, etc. Really, use these terms with caution and always verify the definition. Otherwise, use different terms because they will outplay you in linguistics. See this video to understand how to speak woke. An example, don't bother with Christian nationalism. Even if you want some kind of theonomy, which personally I don't support, using phrases like Christian nationalism is playing into a trap. Have you heard of the book called Beautiful Trouble? It's been called the updated Rules for Radicals by Saul Alinsky. When considering action, that is, the things that bring real change, the handbook Beautiful Trouble says, the real action is your target's reaction. This means real change is made when the opposition to wokeness falls into the trap. Christian nationalism is a trap since the term has already been socially engineered to mean white supremacy. Marjorie Taylor Greene fell into that trap. Don't make that same mistake. Take a look at the Social Justice Encyclopedia from NewDiscourses.com. It's an invaluable resource to really understand the terms and where they come from. Support the basic American message of e pluribus unum. It means from many, one, meaning many people truly come together to make one country. Critical diversity means from one, many, which aims to split people up into arbitrary groups and pit them against each other. Think about it. If the masses are fighting over race, no one will call out the rich and powerful who are actually doing exploitation. Read Abuse of Language, Abuse of Power by Joseph Pieper. Expose the abuse of language that Marxists do. Sadly, you may also have to become some form of an activist. The golden years of American luxury are gone. It's time to do the dirty work and save this country. You might just be able to stand up and say, I don't know about all this stuff. That's enough. That will do. But don't stand there and do nothing. Promote and enforce accountability. There are stories of leftist employees asking their CEOs to initiate DEI or to do racial hiring. The CEO accepts and puts the burden on the leftists. He tells them, go ahead and do that. If you can hire X amount of people by X date, you get a promotion and a new title. Otherwise, you're fired. Weeks later, the leftists quit. Accountability is anathema to Marxism. Know your rights. Study the Constitution and basic law in America. Study the bylaws of your local school board. Hold them to account. Stand up and speak. Bring a friend. Build groups. Don't go alone or critical race theory will swallow you whole. Ask your leftist friends this. If the CRT stuff keeps progressing, at what point would you say, that's too much? At least get them thinking about it even if they don't give you an answer. Harvard is currently in the midst of an anti-Asian discrimination court case that puts affirmative action on trial. A win for the Asians could overturn the decision made in Grutter vs. Bollinger, which would be huge. Support that case. At the beginning, I said that this story begins and ends with Christianity. And then, save for Hegel and the Trinity, I pretty much didn't really touch it again. Well, here's the ending. This all began with the Christian heresy and the activists now are literally professing their disdain for Christianity specifically and their desire for its downfall. So of course the correct response is to support what they attack. They only attack what they think is a threat, and Christianity is at the top of that list, really. Who would want to be accountable to God if they could instead do whatever they want and never face consequences? Even if you aren't Christian, you can agree with this. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. The antidote to communism is discernment and accountability. Luckily, Christians have been practicing discernment for 2,000 years, and the Jews for far longer than that. Judeo-Christian tradition is uniquely poised to undo the evil done by communism in America, and strong, effective, attractive leadership is needed in churches and synagogues, as well as in family, media, education, and law. You must resist. Like Benjamin Franklin wrote so long ago, 
join or die. That isn't a threat. Either you join the resistance to evil or the evil will kill you. Your choice. Some watching may have objections to my thoughts, research, terminology, etc. I aim to answer some of those ahead of time here. You're biased. Yes, I am. I am biased against evil ideas. Do you want to support evil ideas? You're racist. I just spent an immense amount of time explaining the history of critical race theory. That won't work on me. You're a hateful Christian bigot. Again, the words you use against me are falsely defined by activists. Try again. Don't force your morality on me. Two things. One, you clicked on the video. Two, that statement is a moral statement. You think I ought to do otherwise than I'm doing. Don't be a hypocrite. Stop doxing these people. They are public figures and I have used only the information they published themselves. No doxing here. You're taking the words out of context. I've given long quotes from various books and articles, not snippets. I've also provided all the links for said articles and books. Check for yourself. Be accountable. That's not what socialism means. Socialism is group ownership of the means of production. Historically, that group has been the government. Groups are not private, they are public. The word public comes from the Latin word publicus, which means of the people or of the state. Denying this is denying the long history of people who support this definition. That's not what wokeness is. This video is a comprehensive history, not an exhaustive one. There are many other persons and writings that contributed to woke culture, and much more can be said on that. However, my aim here was to educate people on the general Marxist history of wokeness and to inspire them to stand up against it. I'm trying to consolidate a conformity among the American people uh, in opposition to what was called communism in those days. Today it's called woke. But in those days it was called communism. Christians shouldn't be involved in politics. Yes, they should. They aren't supposed to be absorbed in it, but it's politics that allow for freedom of religion, and letting that freedom go to waste is tragic.